So a scatter plot, basically, we've only been really dealing with like bar graphs and things like that, or just a straight line. So a scatter plot is where it's going to be all over the place. So I'm going to plot a couple points here. Uh, this has, instead of, this book really likes to put the columns across like that instead of straight up and down. And so, sorry, I'm about to let the chat in. There, okay. Actually, nope. There's people in the waiting room. There we go. Um, it really likes to do it sideways um, instead of vertically. So uh, just know that the coordinates that we're actually going to be plotting are 485, comma 40. Um, we're kind of going like that, X and then Y. So we go over 485, which is kind of close to 500, and then up to 40, which is, again, below 42, but above 36. It doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, it's just going to give us a general shape of the graph. Uh, over 511 and up 37. Over 520 and up 41. Over 535 and up 42. 582 up 38, um, 615 up 45, 616 and only up 31, 635 up 40, 728 and 54, and then 841 and 64. So as you look at the graph, um, and I'll try not to go too quick for the people that are copying this down themselves, uh, when we draw that scatter plot, that's really just the first part of the question. And the more important part is describing that relationship there. So if you're reminded to look uh, that the height of the building is down here, and the number of stories is on the left. So um, as you can see the relationship here, when I'm only down here in the 400s, 500s, I've only got a story in between 30 stories and sometimes 40 when we're in that 500 level. But as we get closer to like 700, 800 stories, it's jumping over 50 story buildings. Okay, so um, there's a lot of different ways you could phrase that. I would phrase it along the lines of something like as the height of the building gets larger, As that height of the building gets larger, the more stories the building is likely to have. Something along those lines is great. Um, basically just trying to see you have that relationship, like the higher the building is, probably the more stories it's going to have. On the next couple of pages, we're going to be talking about a line of best fit. And so obviously, I can't draw a straight line connecting all of these points like it's just not going to happen so um, a lot of times in a scatter plot they just do something called a line of best fit where if there was this perfect relationship what would it be right so it's kind of hard because without like <clears throat> technology some people might put it there some people might put it you know increasing a little bit faster um, i think both of those aren't great <laughs> probably because i'm drawing it but um i probably think maybe this green line is a little bit more representative of the situation so something like that um is again what we're going to see on the next page where uh we want to be able to model the data if we can with a line that's ideal but sometimes you know if we had a bunch of like crazy other things out here um clusters maybe then there wouldn't be like this nice little relationship there because if it was only 300 a height of 300 and there was 50 stories that's like way different than what this data is actually communicating so basically moral of the story in a scatter plot we're trying to figure out a way to uh, describe what's happening with the data